Welcome to Yumi and Montessori. You are now on the channel of a Montessori broadcaster. We greet all our viewers with love, respect and peace. Thank you in advance, for liking and subscribing. A special appreciation, for all our subscribers, old and new. We love you guys. Grab your coffee. And maybe a biscuit or two. Because now, it is going to get interesting. <music> Ready? So, what is our topic? U.S. Montessori History Part 1, A Beacon of Hope This video is the introduction to our series on the history of Montessori education in the USA. The genesis of the Montessori movement in the USA can be traced to five pertinent developments. 1. Americans visiting Montessori schools in Rome, many training with her. 2. The publication of Montessori's books in the U.S. 3. The first journalistic articles on the Montessori phenomenon appearing in the U.S. Fourth, the support of famous U.S. individuals. And five, Montessori's visits to, and tours across the U.S. Among the Americans who visited Montessori in Rome, were the child psychologists Arnold and Beatrice Gazelle, the publisher Samuel S. McClure, and professors of education such as Howard Warren of Princeton, Arthur Norton of Harvard, Leitner Whitmer of the University of Pennsylvania, and William Hurd Kilpatrick, of Columbia University's Teachers College. Some of these visitors were intent on becoming disciples who would introduce the Montessori method to their own countries. Others were educational journalists who were researching articles and books about the Italian educator. Still others, such as Kilpatrick, would become severe critics. The first Montessori school in the USA started in 1911. It is the story of Terrytown, New York. N. E. George, a young teacher at the Chicago Latin School, was an early disciple of the Montessori method. She had visited Montessori School in Rome in 1909, during which time Montessori personally discussed her approach with her. She also observed how the approach was applied in the classroom. George was enthralled, and she went back to Rome the next year for an eight-month training course by Dr. Maria Montessori. This made her the first U.S. citizen to be trained by Montessori herself. Upon returning to the U.S. and supported by her friend, Roberta Fletcher, she directed a Montessori primary school in Terrytown in 1911 which was the first Montessori school in the U.S., and in the Americas. The school was established by one, Franca Vanderlip. In 1912 she headed the school opened by Mabel Bell, in her home in Washington, D.C. In addition to teaching and directing, George was quite talented and did the English translation of the Montessori method, which was first published in the U.S. in 1912. She also translated Montessori's lectures when the latter visited the U.S. in 1913, and so, we have come to the end of our first video in our series on the history of the Montessori movement in the U.S. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe and hit the like button. It helps us to promote our channel. Your opinions are important to us. So, let us know what you think of this video by passing us a comment if you wish. Look out for our next video. And, thank you very much.